In this video, I'm going to give an example of how you use uncertainty propagation equations that you can look up. Let's imagine that we have some variable y, which we want to know the uncertainty in, which is equal to constant k, the natural log, log to the base e, <coughs> of, well, let's call it z. And we know that k equals 3, and z equals 4 plus or minus 0.2. Now we could calculate this, as shown in a previous video, by just substituting in 4, 4 into here, and then substituting 4.02 into here, and looking at the difference in y. But let's do it using the equations derived from calculus. Now we can look up that for taking the log, if x equals log a, then sigma x equals sigma a over a. We can also find, for adding it, multiplying by constant, that if x equals some constant c times a, then sigma x is just c sigma a. So these are the two equations we need. <coughs> How do we use them? Well, we know that y equals k log z. Do it step by step. So we've got two things we need to do. We need to worry about multiplying by a constant and taking a log. And we can do them step by step. So we can say that sigma y is going to be k times the, sigma, standard, the error in log z. That's using <coughs> this equation here for the constant, so the uncertainty in y is just k times the uncertainty in this whole thing. We give it another name. But then we can also use this equa the uh, equation up here, and we'll find that the standard deviation in log z is standard deviation in z over z. So put them together. And we get the standard deviation in y is k standard deviation in z over z. So this case is equal to k, which is 3, times 0 0.2 over 4, which is 0 0.15. And if you do it the other way, actually substitute the values in, you get the same answer. <coughs> 